Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I've got a very awesome product to show you all. This is Xiaomi's latest 4K Android TV box called the Mi Box S. It's a Google certified Android TV box. Now that means it comes with an official Android TV OS and has features like Google Assistant, built-in Chromecast support and even comes with a voice control remote. This Android TV box will convert any normal non-smart TV into a fully smart Android TV. Now that is what I call awesome. So the Mi Box S comes in this sort of box packing. It says powered by Android TV and has some popular apps listed over here. It's got more than 3000 apps made specially for Android TV and comes with a free HDMI cable in the box. So those were some of its highlights. Over here you got the setup process. The setup process is very simple. I'll tell you how to do that in this video. And on the other side you got a list of all the items you get in the box. Now let's check out its features. The best part about this TV box is it even has Dolby Audio and DTS HD support. So it gives you next level audio experience. It also has built-in Chromecast, Google Assistant and 4K HDR support. The Mi Box S is powered by a 64-bit quad-core CPU and a 3 plus 2 core GPU. So those were the features of this TV box. I'm super excited to unbox and check it out. So let's get started with the video. I want to thank Gearbest for sending me this product for review. By the way guys, Gearbest is having a huge Christmas sale going on and they're offering a lot of discounts on products including this one. The discount sale will end soon so make sure you visit their website. So here it is guys, the Mi Box S. Let me just take it out. This thing comes only in black color and oh my god, it's so thin and lightweight. It weighs only around 147 grams. And also love the matte black finishing. We'll just come back to that again. First let's see what else do we get in the box. You get some paperwork which includes a user manual and a warranty card. Just make sure to read them for all the info on the product. A free HDMI cable in the box, that's a really good thing. A power adapter for the TV box, it's a 5.2 volt 2.1 amp adapter. And finally a remote for the TV box. Now this is a voice control remote. It has a microphone on it and is powered by Google Assistant. You can ask any question by pressing the button and it will give you the answer on the TV box. So this is how the remote looks like. Looks very decent. It's actually pretty similar to the remote that you get with the Xiaomi TVs. The build quality is nice. It's made of high quality plastic. And as you can see you've got the Google Assistant button at the top. You can press this button and ask anything just like how you would do on your phone. And also at the bottom you've got dedicated buttons to access Netflix and live TV channels. So that was our overview on the remote. It's a Bluetooth controlled remote and you need to pair it with the TV box before you can use it. There's no built in battery. You need to install two AAA batteries to power it on. So that was about the remote. Now let me show you the TV box. So this is how the Mi Box S looks like. It's got a very decent look, has a sleek body and comes in matte black finishing. You've got the Mi logo at the top and there's nothing else on the sides except the back. You've got an audio out here, a HDMI 2.0 port, a USB 2.0 port and a DC power in. That's it, coming to the bottom part you've got some foot pads, a Mi logo at the center and some info regarding the product. That's it guys, that was our overview on the design and the build quality. Now what I'll do is I'll connect it to my TV, set it up and show you all of its features. Alright guys, I'm back, I've connected the Mi boxes to my Sony TV and also gone through the setup process. The setup process was super simple, you just had to connect the power adapter and a HDMI cable from the Mi box to your TV. After that follow the on screen instructions and boom, you'll be done with the setup process in no time. It took me only around 5 to 10 minutes to do that. So this is how the home screen on it looks like. As you can see it's got the official Android TV interface and I'll be using this provided remote control to navigate through the UI. The Mi Box S is a 4K HDR TV box and comes with 2GB RAM and 8GB of internal storage. So on the home screen you've got loads of content. It's categorized into different sections and the home screen is also fully customizable. At the top you've got shortcuts to your favorite apps. It comes with a lot of pre-installed apps. I'll show them to you in a moment. Going down you've got a lot of videos which include YouTube videos, movies, web series and much more from different sources like Netflix, Play Movies, Play Music, YouTube and even Spotify. Now this channel list on the home screen is fully customizable. You can add your own sources and even remove the existing ones. The choice is all up to you. At the top you've got the notification section, search functions and a shortcut to the settings app. Let me just open the settings and show you. So this is how the settings on it look like. Pretty similar to smartphone settings, you've got Wi-Fi, the Mi Box S supports dual band Wi-Fi and has built-in Chromecast support. In the display section you have screen resolution, screen position, HDR to SDR and even SDR to HDR conversion support. That's a pretty nice feature. In the sound settings you've got dynamic range control, sound output and DTS sound settings. 
From here you can keep a check on the downloaded apps and also the pre-installed apps. Going down the list you've got screen saver, storage, as I've told you earlier the Mi Box S comes with 8GB of internal storage. But out of that only 5.5 to 6GB is usable. And as I've already installed some apps and games on it, we're only left with 2.1GB of free space. That's a bit low guys, I felt Xiaomi should have at least provided 16 gigs of storage for the price. Coming to the about section, you got system updates at the top and as soon as I powered on the device, I got an update with some bug fixes and performance improvements. The Mi Box S runs on Android 8.1 Oreo out of the box and the security patch is October 2018. So those are all the software details. Apart from these, you've got some more general settings like language, date and time, playback, HDMI CEC and also Bluetooth. Yes, you also have Bluetooth on it and can connect different devices like gamepads, Bluetooth speakers and even Bluetooth headphones. Now let me tell you about the available content on the home screen. You've got lots and lots of content on the Mi Boxes. This content comes from different sources like Netflix, YouTube, Hotstar, Play Movies and more. Now half of them are all paid content or you need to either take the subscription to be able to access them. And also the content on the home screen keeps on changing depending on different factors like your search history, the trending list and much more. Now let me show you the Play Store. Since it's a Google certified Android TV box, it comes with Google Play Store that features apps that are specially designed for TV. And this is how it looks like. Very simple, clean interface and has lots of different category apps. I've downloaded a lot of apps and games and faced no issues so far. Everything was working great. You've got many apps like Facebook, YouTube, TED TV, Kodi, Netflix and much more. But unfortunately there was no Amazon Prime on it. I had to sideload it and install it through a file explorer. And guess what guys, it was working perfectly fine. Now the cool thing is not only apps but you can also download a variety of games on it. It's got a huge list of awesome games including some popular titles like Asphalt 8, Final Fantasy and more. I'll also play some games and show you the gaming performance later. So that was about Play Store. Now let me open YouTube and show you how the interface looks like. The YouTube app on it has the latest UI designed for TVs and it looks pretty nice. The UI was smooth, fast and I love the experience on it. Let me just play a video and show you how it looks like. Hey, what's up guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, I've got a very interesting product to show you all. It's a selfie stick with a gimbal. The streaming quality was great on this TV box. It supports video resolutions up to 4K 60 HDR and I had no buffering issues till now. And did I tell you that it supports dual band Wi-Fi and I didn't face any sort of connectivity problems also. If your TV is not an Android or smart TV, just connect this Mi Box to it and you'll love watching content on your big screen. Previously, I've told you that there was no Amazon Prime on the Play Store, right? So I had to sideload it and install via File Explorer. And bam, it was working absolutely fine. You can watch all the movies in full quality 1080p HD, that too with Dolby Digital 5.1 support. Now that is really awesome. I've tested a lot of other Android TV boxes in this price range, but none of them had this support. Now let's jump into gaming. Yes, you can also play games on it. I'll be playing Asphalt 8 to show you how it performs. By the way, I'm playing this game using a Bluetooth gamepad and the graphics quality was set to medium. Just have a look at it. The Mi Box S is powered by Cortex A53 64-bit quad-core CPU and a Mali 450 GPU. It comes with 2GB RAM and 8GB of internal storage. The TV box was actually doing a good job handling the game. Asphalt 8 is a very graphic intensive game and I totally didn't expect it to run this well. The game was running smooth and faced very minimum lags or stutters. So not only for streaming, it's also decent for gaming. I've told you at the beginning that it also supports screen mirroring, right? You don't need to do anything for that, it's always on by default. You just need to take your phone and connect to it. Let me just give you a demo. There you go. Super simple, right? Screen mirroring was working perfectly fine. It was smooth with minimum delay, but the quality was not that great. I was not that satisfied with the casting quality. 
So as I've told you previously, the Mi Box S also comes with Google Assistant. It comes with this voice control remote. You just need to press this Google Assistant button on it and ask whatever you want to ask and it will give you the answer on the screen. Let me just give you a demo of that. What's the weather in Hyderabad? In Hyderabad, it's 77 with haze. There you go. As tonight is 76 and partly cloudy. Let's ask another question. Who's the president of India? Of India is Ramnath Kovind. Now, not only these sort of questions, you can also ask it to play some movies or uh, music videos on YouTube, Netflix, or any other app that you've installed on the Mi Boxes. Let's just ask it to play some music videos. Play trending Bollywood songs on YouTube. Diggy by Jasmine Walia, sure. So that is how Google Assistant works on it. It was accurately picking up my voice and giving all the answers what you were looking for. Finally coming to media playback, it supports a variety of file formats like MP4, MOV, AVI, MKV and can also play videos in H264, 265, VP9 up to a max resolution of 4K at 60fps. The best part is it also supports Dolby Audio and DTS HD formats. I'm playing this 4K video file from an external pen drive, just check out the performance. As you can see it was handling 4K video files without any sweat. I didn't face any sort of lag or stutters anywhere. But there's one thing I'd like to mention, for some reason the Mi Box S was not supporting my 2TB external hard disk. It was showing up in the file explorer but I was unable to open it. Again when I connected a 64GB pen drive to it, that was working fine. So I guess it doesn't support high capacity hard disk. So that was my review on the Xiaomi's Mi Box S 4K HDR TV box. It's a really good Android TV box. The build quality is nice, it's got some awesome features, performs really well, can play a variety of content up to 4K 60 and I absolutely love that voice control remote. It provides an effortless way to browse through the content. The only thing I felt was the internal storage capacity could have been higher and also the remote control had very limited buttons on it. Rest everything else was fine. The Mi Box S costs around 4 to 5 thousand rupees. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can get it from there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you all liked the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.